Upon a lofty throne I saw a man seated, whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison, Behold him, the name of whose empire is eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to our Saturday Mass. In ordinary time, the Church gives us the opportunity every Saturday of celebrating a memorial Mass of the Blessed Virgin Mary, when we're not impeded by another feast or obligatory memorial. So this year, I'm going to be using something that might be new to people. It's something called the Collectio Missarum Beate Maria Virginis, or the Collection of Masses of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This was something that the Church did quite a few years ago. They collected various mass texts from local churches, from shrines, from religious congregations, which honour different aspects of Mary's life, given to us as examples to help us in our own journey of faith. And say there are a good 60 odd different masses for Our Lady in this book and over the course of the year on those Saturdays when we're able to do so I'll be using masses from this book. Today I'm celebrating the Mass of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Good Counsel. Now I've chosen this because of the scripture readings for Mass today and also for tomorrow for Sunday. Good counsel means making the right decisions, having a wisdom that is informed by the Word of God, God's Spirit speaking to help us to find our path. In Mary, we see someone who was so open to that Spirit of God that she was able to direct her path, her choices in life, fully in accordance with God's will. As we celebrate this Mass, we pray that her example may help us to receive that inspiration from the Holy Spirit, that guidance from God's Word, so that as we face our choices and decisions in daily lives, we too may walk a path which is pleasing to the Lord and which brings us blessings. As we begin our Mass, we start as always by calling to mind our sins and asking for the grace of God's forgiveness. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord, you know that our thoughts on earth are full of fear and uncertainty. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, from whom your Son took flesh and blood, send us the gift of counsel and teach us how to discern your will and to guide us in all that we do. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Word of God is something alive and active. It cuts like any double-edged sword, but more finely, it can slip through the place where the soul is divided from the spirit or joints from the marrow. It can judge the secret emotions and thoughts. No created thing can hide from him. Everything is uncovered and open to the eyes of the one to whom we must give an account of ourselves. Since in Jesus, the Son of God, we have the supreme high priest who has gone through to the highest heaven we must never let go of the faith that we have professed. For it is not as if we had a high priest who was incapable of feeling our weaknesses with us, but we have one 
who has been tempted in every way that we are, though he is without sin. Let us be confident then in approaching the throne of grace, that we shall have mercy from him and find grace when we are in need of help. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. The law of the Lord is perfect, it revives the soul. The rule of the Lord is to be trusted, it gives wisdom to the simple. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, it gives light to the eyes. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. The fear of the Lord is holy, abiding forever. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. May the spoken words of my mouth, the thoughts of my heart, win favour in your sight, O Lord, my rescuer, my rock. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Bend my heart to your will, O Lord, and teach me your law. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out to the shore of the lake, and all the people came to him, and he taught them. As he was walking on, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting by the customs house, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. When Jesus was at dinner in his house, a number of tax collectors and sinners were also sitting at the table with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many of them among his followers. When the scribes of the Pharisee party saw him eating with sinners and tax collectors, they said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard this, he said to them, It is not the healthy who need the doctor, but the sick. I did not come to call the virtuous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When we think of Mary at the moment of the Annunciation, we see someone who was completely open to God's word. Someone who was willing to accept the visit of an angel and the invitation to change her life to be part of God's plan of salvation. And we know that throughout her life, Mary showed her true discipleship of her son by that attitude of listening, that attitude of openness to the word of God. Remember that phrase that crops up more than once in the scriptures about Mary's reaction to the different events of her son's life. Mary treasured and pondered. She was someone who was willing to let the word of God inspire and direct and guide her. That, in many ways, is what our scripture readings were talking about today. Especially there was that last verse of the psalm with some wonderful words that I think we can take as a daily prayer. May the spoken words of my mouth and the thoughts of my heart win favour in your sight, O Lord. What we've got to do is let the word of God help us before we speak, before even we think, so often in our lives, we tend to react, perhaps out of habit or patterns that we've established over many, many years, or perhaps even just reacting almost without thinking. When we're open to that divine counsel, which is the Spirit of God, it makes us stop in our tracks. Remember what the letter to the Hebrews said about the Word of God being like this double-edged sword. It, it cuts in between things if we let it. And remember the Gospel how Jesus called Matthew, or Levi, as he's called here, 
And he responded, follow me. And he got up and followed him. Obviously, that word of God got into Levi's head, got into his heart, and he changed the direction of his life because of that. We live in a very noisy world where there are a lot of voices, there are a lot of things telling us this is what you need to believe, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to buy. We should all ask that Mary, our Lady of Good Counsel, can help us be like her, to be open to that Word of God. And in those silent spaces that we should make for ourselves each and every day, that we should be still, that we should be calm as Mary was, to let the voice of God help us to find our path. So we think for a moment of the prayers and intentions that we bring to the altar today. Let's pray first for our young people who are so often surrounded by the many different voices of our world telling them where to go and what to be. Let's pray that they may be, like Mary, open to the Word of God, open to the presence of God's Spirit to help them in their decisions and in choosing their path. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Jesus tells us that he came not to call the virtuous, but sinners. Let's pray that all who need the strength and the gift of God's forgiveness for the mistakes or bad choices they've made in life may know that Jesus is full of mercy and love for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For a moment in silence, let each of us think of our own prayers and intentions for Mass today. And as we celebrate this Mass of Our Lady of Good Counsel, let us pray now that Mary will help us to be open to the Word of God in our daily lives. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most loving Father, speak to us once more through your Son, Jesus, whom you sent to be the Word made flesh dwelling in our midst, and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, let the spirit of counsel, who so wonderfully overshadowed your handmaid, the Blessed Virgin, come upon the gifts we present in worship and make them pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. How generously you poured out the gifts of your Holy Spirit upon the Blessed Virgin Mary to make her worthy to be the mother and companion of the Redeemer. Enlightened by these gifts, she sought your will unceasingly and obeyed it with fidelity. In her canticle of joy, she proclaimed the greatness of your mercy and gave herself wholeheartedly to your wise and loving plan for renewing all things in Christ. Through him, the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. With you, O Lord, is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Let us pray. Lord our God, we have shared in your mysteries on this memorial of Our Lady, Mother of Good Counsel. Grant that we may learn what is pleasing to you and receive salvation from your Son, whom you gave us through the Blessed Virgin Mary to be our wonderful counsellor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alma, Redemptoris Mater, Que per via celi porta manes, et stella maris, succore cadenti, surgere qui corat populo, tuque genuisti, natura mirante, tuum sanctum genitorem, virgo prius, Ac posterius, Gabrieli sabore, sum ensil Lord ave, peccatorum mi 
Jesus.